Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, and this is the review for my blind commentary, blind reaction to Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, which is uh, which was a 2002 film. I believe there is some degree of remake that came out this year. I don't know the specifics on that, but this is the 2002 movie. Um, this was really interesting. I really enjoyed this, and I thought I thought there were a lot of interesting kind of decisions in the in the creation of this film that I really appreciated. So it was a pretty cool film. Obviously, my reaction. My actual reaction to the film is down below in the description on Mega and Breach when this goes up and down the line those links could eventually change, but I've been saying that in like every review for quite a while now and so far nothing, so you know, it keeps going <laughs> as you do, but um, yeah, it was a cool movie, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, obviously, if you want to support the channel, the YouTube channel, the content creation in general, you can check out my Patreon and you can pledge there, support me that way. Um, obviously just watching the videos helps a little bit and um, you know whatever you want to do if you want to you want to get in touch with me discord the best option just message me or whatever but you can also hang out with other people who enjoy me and a bunch of other bullshit it's fun times uh, and there's other links too of course so all the links all the links check them out if you want um, but yeah this was spirit stallion of the Cimarron which was a pretty cool movie um, I think one thing that I really enjoyed about this movie is how they told the story through the perspective of Spirit, the main character. And they did it in a way that, while he gave us a general narration of the story, there was really no, there was no, horses didn't talk in this story. So there wasn't really any dialogue per se. Um, there, there was very minimal dialogue because it was only the dialogue of the humans in the story and there wasn't really a ton of it. So we got through, we had this movie with minimal dialogue that really showed as opposed to telling us, you know, what's going on. I feel like it really worked in the favor of the film and I think just the spirit of the film, haha, was uh, really encapsulated by the way it was kind of written and just how it all kind of came together. I think it really um, made for a good piece of work. For whatever reason, too, there were multiple moments in this movie where it definitely gave me a Lion King vibe. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I think I probably went into it a little bit in the actual reaction, but um, I mean, that's not a terrible thing to kind of vibe with either. So uh, there was definitely a lot of good stuff in this movie. I definitely enjoyed the movie quite a bit. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. So hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction because I think, I think it was a really good time and I really liked... Um, I really liked, uh, I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it was a lot of fun. I thought, it's one of those movies that I could easily see myself forgetting about in five years and then rediscovering and then being like, oh man, this was such a cool film. I'm watching again. Um, because I don't think this movie will necessarily stick with me as, as much as some others that I really enjoyed, but I feel like it stands up to a lot of um, older and newer films that um, I've really enjoyed over the years. And I think it's something that I can really appreciate because I feel like it was a very, like, serious movie. Like, I feel like it really tackled everything from a place of sincerity and just genuine, like, seriousness. Like, I feel like this movie, while, well, you know, a kid's movie, I feel like it was just a really, like, responsible film that really just told its story in a way that I feel like was very, like, respectful of the audience's intelligence and didn't really like in no way it was even like a silly kind of fun that I feel like is very common for animated films both back then and to this day especially in western animation and I feel like there just wasn't much of that like I said I actually likened this film a little bit almost to a Ghibli type story and like if you had the anime animation and everything and you kind of changed it up a little bit I could totally see this being almost like a Miyazaki type film uh, just because of the nature of how it was structured and just told, like, it, it vibed with that a lot. I mean, if you exclude the fact to all the American kind of references in the film, obviously Native Americans and, you know, Western expansion and um, literally the U.S. Army and all that shit. Like, all the Ameri like there was a bunch of American stuff in the film. Uh, but if you kind of exclude the Amer all the American, like, the setting and everything relating to that... Um, that really made this film kind of very much feel like an American film. You take that away, then I definitely could see this being like a like a Miyazaki film or something, a very Studio Ghibli esque work in a lot of ways, and that's a big compliment. Obviously, animation was much different than anything I've seen from Ghibli, of course, but 
as far as a story goes, it's remnants of that quite a bit, which is pretty cool. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was it was it was a fun time, you know. I definitely think that it was a movie that uh, was a fun reaction for the month. And obviously, we'll see what wins the poll this month. Obviously, if you like, I said, if you want to vote on this month's movie poll to determine what movie I'll be reacting to in September, check out the Patreon, and you can check out what's on the poll. And if you want to pledge and vote, then you can you have fun with that. But um, yeah, no, I had a really good time with this um, with this film. And I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good experience, and I hope you guys enjoy the um, hope you guys enjoy the video as well. Because uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. It wasn't one of like my all time favorite movies, but it was a really solid one. And I feel like it's so hard because I've watched so many amazing movies that's so hard to kind of rate them all against each other. But it was a really cool one. I definitely enjoyed this one quite a bit, and uh, I'm excited to see what we react to next month. So. Like I said, you guys want to have any say in that, you guys can go do that or not. If you just want to wait and see what pops up on uh, September, I don't know if it'll be September 7th or not. It'll, uh, what, what day of the week is the 7th? Yeah, it'll probably be September 7th. I'm not positive, but it'll probably be September 7th. I guess we'll see. But, uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I got to say about this. So we'll leave it there, I guess. Um, do you have anything else to say about this? Not really. Um, I also watched, uh, you know, I recorded this and then I watched the first two episodes of The Devil is a Part-Timer, Hadaraku Malsama. So, uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little more fresh in my mind. Obviously, like I said, I watched this beforehand. So, you know, that is what it is. You guys will get that reaction in a few days. That should be coming out because this video should be coming out on the 7th. The Devil is a Part-Timer reaction shouldn't be coming out till the 10th because the 8th will be... Um, the day after this will be the, uh, will be re-uploads and then the ninth will be, um, will be JoJo's. So uh, that'll be, that'll be that. But on the 10th will be the devil is a part-timer premiere, which should be fun. The first two episodes of that. But, uh, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say regarding spirits and other things that are related or not to it. But yeah, for a movie about, um, horses, it was pretty good. You know, I mean, I've watched quite a few movies about horses, kind of. It's actually complicated. I've definitely watched at least one movie about horses, and I've watched four movies that were kind of about horses. So, most of which on the channel. It's complicated. But, um... This is probably my second favorite? Movie that related to horses that I've done on the channel? I mean, I enjoy all of those, but this one was better than most. I don't know if it was better than one in particular I'm thinking of, though, but most of them. It was a really good movie. It was definitely... I could see this being, like, a real classic for people and just something that they they can go back to and watch and just really have a good time with it. And definitely I could see this being a part of a lot of people's childhoods. Um, I feel like thematically had a good mix between really taking your audience seriously and treating them with respect and not being too, like, dark... Um, I think it really hit a fine balance that I could really, really, you know, respect and sink my teeth into. It was really well done. I really liked this movie. So anyways, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.